coffee time. <laughs> this is heaven. This is heaven. Yeah. Here's to another awesome day. In the words of Mr. Bailey of Burandery, you wouldn't be dead for quids. Ah! Oh. Now show yourself, Mr. Croc. I'm back. <laughs> what is that? What is under there? Should have brought my Elton John lure. You yeah, should have stolen Mark's rod. How good's that? Just caught up with the young ranger. His biggest is a 92 centimetre barra. Oh, I knew I should have brought my bloody Elton John. <laughs> and there is crocs, but he hasn't seen any. Yeah, it's a myth. It's a Northern Territory marketing myth. <laughs> Ten o'clock, nearly thirty-four degrees. Brunch time, <laughs> and here's the stalkers. They've been following me since Erin and Dada, <laughs> Robin and Shane. <laughs> Good to see you again, Dal. <laughs> That's it. Hey, Chucky! It's a beautiful boy. Hi. Oh, you're beautiful. I got some beef jerky in my bag for you if you hang around long enough. Hey. Not for the humans, I've got the beef jerky for the doggies. <laughs> hey, no, no, darling. Liberty. Oh, Liberty. Happy 4th of July, darling. <laughs> Was a couple of days ago, yeah. Beautiful. All right, folks, what are you doing? Gonna have a shot at some barra? Oh, <laughs> track, All right. Oh, well, you know, I'm a bit hungry. I could handle some by the fire tonight. <laughs> All right, carry on. And good luck with the barra, hey? <laughs> If you catch some, I'll be. I'll let the fire go in tonight. See ya, darling girl. Bear or beers. See ya. Hopefully both. Yeah. See ya, darling. Enjoy the adventure. <laughs> See you guys. Yeah. Have fun. Yeah. Bye. 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 That's it. Living the life. They're from Wyala. Can you believe that? Go the crow eaters. <laughs> now go catch some barra. <laughs> Oh, awesome people. And little Liberty, she's beautiful. See ya! Looks like we got a spot of fishing going on tonight. <laughs> Park her up. <laughs> right, let's go get some footage of this beautiful Jasper Gorge while the sun's overhead. And then by the time I get back, my good neighbours here will catch the Barra Monday for dinner. So yeah, pretty happy with the motors. Did well in the dirt yesterday. A little bit skated to start off with and I think it sort of broke itself in. I could actually go a lot lower on the front. I'm only 24, so it's still quite high pressure for that. But yeah, she did well.
So this is what you call a drive through gorge. <laughs> Bloody beautiful. This is beautiful. Let me show you more. Yeah, it's like this the whole way. Just magic. Just magic. Keep going, I'll come back the other way. Can you drive fast through this gorge like you don't want to drive fast you want to see how bloody beautiful it is you're missing out mate look at this look at this it's like this throughout this whole entire drive just magic yeah thanks mate River all through there. Well, take it back up the gorge the opposite way. I was trying to catch it so the sun was directly overhead, you'd get the better angle. This is an example of how rough the old Buchanan Highway is. What happens is the grader goes over it, sharpens the edges of the rocks. Which is not good for four-wheel drive tyres, but on a bike we can avoid them. This is your Buchanan Highway, people. <laughs> not exactly a highway, more of a trail. different to when I last rode it. What do you mean road damaged? The whole road's damaged. <laughs> Rough 
surface, you think. The whole road's a rough surface. <laughs> Oh yeah, beauty. No animals in it. Cool. That will do. That will do. Now we better come and get more if we need to. <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> yep, gonna clear my shower. Beautiful, door to door delivery. <laughs> survival line <laughs> great night by the campfire my beautiful neighbors topped me up with my water so i can go off the grid for another couple of days but you got to check out his setup on his cruiser it's freaking awesome <laughs> So here's my beautiful neighbours, Shane and Robin, with a fabulous bottle of red last night. <laughs> so this is the setup. This is this is a good rig. So what Shane's done is spent a squillion dollars and he's lengthened the wheelbase of his cruiser and widened it. And this little truck can go anywhere, right, Shane? That's it, That's it where there's no people, eh? Yeah. <laughs> and all the full-blown electrics with the inverter and all the storage and they had problems with the uh, power on the campus so he's just like run it all the way through and now no issues whatsoever solar panels on the roof mate this is one freaking awesome rig set up mint well liberty where are you darling in bed, you're still in bed <laughs> you're still in bed darling hi good morning Hey, good morning to you. Oh, sorry, did I wake you up? Are you not a morning person? Yeah, same as me. Hey, darling. <laughs> so that's her little bed. <laughs> what a great little setup, hey? Freaking awesome. Here she comes. Here she comes. And this is her brekkie. 
So they cry back her, that's room meat. Yeah. Room meat, a bit of chicken, chicken your Brussels liver, sprouts, and a uh, bit of liver and some mussels. And, hey? Yeah. Can, I, can I be your pet dog? <laughs> 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 are you coming out, darling? You're coming out. Your num nums are ready. Ready for your brekkie? <laughs> oh, a bit stiff in the morning, are ya? Sit. Sit. Good wait. girl. You wait. You wait. Wait. There you go. Yeah. Good girl. Good girl, eh? Good girl. So where to, guys? You're going to head... Victoria River. Victoria River. So they're going to do the rest of the Buchanan. And I showed them that great little crossing where they can camp where there's plenty of water and Liberty will be able to have a swim without getting eaten by a croc. Uh, <laughs> so how much longer is your journey? So you've been on the road for how long now? Five weeks. Five weeks. Started out from Wyala. And how much longer you got to go? Two weeks. Oh, that you don't want to go back. <laughs> That's it. Always. I know. Oh, no. Yeah, but Shane's got a pool shop. Summer's coming up, and everyone's going to demand all their stuff for their swimming pools. Yeah. Meanwhile, you're out here in the creeks and the water holes and <laughs> the natural pools. That's it. That's what it is. Cool. It was awesome meeting you guys. Yeah, it was yeah, you're it's always an adventure. <laughs> Great to meet you yeah, too. more great people. I always meet the best people on this journey and you guys are one of them. <laughs> so you know how I always meet amazing people on my journey and everyone's got a story to tell. I, Nat, this is a Wyala group. I'm not afraid to talk. Speak, even if your voice shakes. Yeah. And the most important thing is right here. Be, just be kind. Yeah, that's it. That's exactly. Just be kind. So last night around the campfire, uh, another story that struck a chord with my heart because I miss my 19-year-old son at home massively. And uh, Robin's had a personal tragedy in her life. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> um, Lockie, her beautiful boy, 19. Three years ago, yep. took his life. Yep. Way too young. Way, way too young. Yep. So you, you've it's been on a hard. big, big journey, haven't you, darling? Yeah. Yeah, and you've got him around your neck. I have. He comes with me everywhere. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Long journey, isn't it? Very long journey. So people, you know, just. At least we can talk about this in this day and age, but it doesn't make it easier. No. But if only he did talk. And after everything he's been through, you know, as a young kid, he was 10 metres away from his mate, scuba diving comp, saw his mate get taken by a shark. Yeah. And then the next incident, his um, him and his mate as young teenagers, town circus, were walking home through the park. And, and would you believe it? He couldn't write about this. The clown hung himself from a tree. Him and his mate panicked, called the cops, and the cops said, look, you've got to get him down. And uh, two young lads trying to bloody get this guy out of a tree who's hung himself, and he yeah. later passed away in hospital. And uh, third one, his mate... His mate got bitten by a death adder, but he survived. During sports, yeah. so... Um, yeah, they were camped, or they were out, out at Port Neal, yep. Yeah. Just playing in the bushes and so all of this before he was like 18 19 you yeah. know just so much trauma in his life and yeah and then yep and then finds the young girl yeah falls in love little baby Gets on the way baby on the way yeah his life was um made for him he had a good job yeah fantastic job he loved the sea he was a fisherman yeah and he just i don't know didn't talk i suppose <laughs> Big journey, darling. Big journey. <laughs> big, big journey. My heart <clears throat> breaks you. I just, I couldn't imagine it, you know. My son just, oh, how do you do that? How do you cope with that? It's every parent's it's nightmare. Just you just take a day at a time. 
Yeah. Yeah. Keep going. Yeah. You have to. Yeah. The journey. Speak, even if your voice shakes. <laughs> oh, we got shaking voices. <laughs> I just, um, just so blessed to have met you guys and to have that chat around the campfire last night. Oh, Lucas, I love this son. I can't wait to see you. Mama loves you. Sorry for your loss, darling. Fuck. Enjoy the journey! <laughs> Bye! Ah, oh, beautiful people. See ya! Alright. Time for me to pack up and continue my journey. Let's go, Artemis. Let's go. 10.30. Keep packing, Roz. Keep packing get on the road. What a great stay here and beautiful meeting Shane and Robin. So I'm here at Jasper Gorge. I'm actually going to backtrack that 50 odd k's through the rocky trail and do this big loop trail, the bins track. through Humbert Station and Big Tree, and it'll bring me up to Belita where I camped last time. So by the time I get out, another couple of hundred Ks, but I might end up camping somewhere in here tonight, but it's always an adventure. We will see. Girls warmed up. That's it, nice and hot. Just got the sports top and the shorts on with my safety gear. We are gone. Come on, Artemis. The adventure continues.
couldn't see a servo, couldn't see a shop. So, I shall just carry on, I guess. Straight up, straight up, straight up, straight up. And where's the first thing? Up there. Glorious ride. steep front end came up too light pinged off dropped it but yeah this is busted have to race tape that up so i can keep going with it shoot it off that's not